Hi, it's me, Wei Chang here again. Um, good afternoon to everybody. It's a Friday. Um, I hope you have a good weekend ahead of you. And uh, today I will solve this uh, math question, uh, a primary tree question, which someone posted on one of the Facebook groups. Uh, but before I begin, I would like to say a big thank you to all the parents and children who turned up at the sharing session last night. Um, it was a full house and I believe and I hope that the parents actually went back um, having learnt something new. Uh, the feedback that I got well, according to the feedback forms here, pretty positive. Um, there were a lot asking for more, yeah, uh, longer sharing session, more sharing sessions. Um, I hear you um, and based on the feedback that I'm getting from the Facebook posts and all that, uh, I hear you. Uh, I will do more in future, but uh, do give me a bit of time to get things organized and uh, get the logistics settled so that I could do more. Um, stay tuned to the my YouTube channel and the Facebook pages that you normally subscribe to, and I'll be posting up details of the next sharing session there. So stay tuned. Now let's get into solving this question. All right, Benson spent seventy-four dollars while Jaden spent one hundred and twenty. The amount of money Benson had left was three times as much as the amount of money Jaden had left. So, if both of them have a combined total, how much money did Jaden have left? Well, the key to this question is actually here. All right, this is the most important part. So we settle, we draw the model to represent the amount of money they had left first. So we start by saying that Benson had three times as much. So Benson will get three models, uh, three units, sorry, and Jensen get one unit. And uh, this is the amount of money left. So Benson actually spent $74. So we draw in $74 for him. And Jaden actually spent $120. Now it doesn't matter if the models, uh, I mean, if you add in this part and they end up looking the same or they are too long or too short, it doesn't matter at all because these two are not important in that sense. Um, the total is actually 590 so when we get here it's actually very clear cut uh, you just have to take the total of this okay which will be 194 then you take away from 590 uh, 194 you get uh, 396 so from here 4 units will be 396 uh, 1 unit will be of course 99 and uh, Jaden has actually 99, so Jaden has 99 dollars left. So that's how you solve this question. Uh, the approach is very straightforward. Uh, the, the key to this is to understand the approach and to uh, use this approach in questions in future that are similar. So once again, a big thank you to all those who turned up for the sharing session. Stay tuned for the next one. Um, I am planning for a few more and a few other topics other than just the math model method. So look forward to meeting you in future. Thank you and have a good day ahead. Bye.